So we're out doing some shooting today and we're going to go over with you guys how we shipped our firearms from Oregon to Alaska where we are today. Okay, so most of the guns that we actually shipped up here you can't even bring through Canada. Um, the handful that we could we just decided to ship with the other ones uh, instead of filling out their paperwork and uh, kind of making it a longer process for us. So what I ended up doing was I contacted a firearms dealer in Anchorage, Alaska, and I kind of just told him my situation that I had some firearms that I wanted to have up there, and um, he kind of explained to me what I needed to do. We used FedEx to ship these, and I had probably two um, full-size gun cases stuffed full of guns, and it ended up costing us about $500 to ship them up here overnight. So legally, pistols need to be shipped overnight, and that's where a lot of the cost is gonna come in in shipping these. And FedEx will not allow you to ship ammo. So we ended up just shooting a lot of our ammo that we had and selling some of it, and as soon as we got up here, we just restocked on ammo. So we did downsize our collection of guns a little bit before we moved here, but all in all, it's way cheaper to ship these guns up here than it would be to just buy all new ones when you get up here. Okay, so we're out here. We're gonna go ahead and take a couple shots with some of our guns. So this is a Glock Model 22. So this is a Ruger 357 Magnum. This is a Ruger 454 Casul. Okay, this is a Savage 17 HMR. Alright, this is a Ruger 22.
This is our new 4570. target so that's a 4570 round massive and here it is compared to a uh, a 357 magnum so I wanted to give a shout out to Mike at Zona holsters he made me this awesome custom kydex holster for my 454 Casul we'll put his uh, information in description and we're gonna load up the target. She's seen better days and we're gonna head on back.